Question one is an equation. They give us k equals three, so I'm going to plug that in. X minus one over three equals three. Multiply both sides by three to get rid of this fraction, because I don't like fractions. That crosses out. We get x minus one equals nine. Add one to both sides. We get x equals 10. D is the answer. Question two. Uh, we have an imaginary number. It doesn't really matter what that equals. We're just simplifying this expression. So I'll do 7 plus 3i minus 8 plus 9i. And all we have to do is group the like terms. So the regular numbers, 7 minus 8, negative 1. And then the imaginary numbers, 3i plus 9i plus 12i. We get negative 1 plus 12i. Our answer is going to be a. Question number three. We have a word problem here. We have to write it into an expression. So Armand sent M text messages for five hours. And Tyrone sent P text messages for four hours. Which of the following represents the total number of messages? So Armand sent M for five hours, so 5M. And Tyrone sent P for four hours, plus 4P. We can't combine those because they're not like terms. So it's going to be 5M plus 4P. Question four, we have a big word problem here, but I'm just going to underline the equation. And it says, what is the meaning of the 108 in the equation? 108 doesn't have the X, or in this case, a D attached to it. So this is the intercept. This is where it starts. So I'm looking for the answer where it says something starts here. Complete in 180 days? No. Starts each week with 108? Yes. I know it's that one. I'm not even going to read the rest of them. Number five, which the following is equivalent. So we just have to simplify this polynomial by combining like terms. So we have a negative here. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute that to everything. So it would become x squared y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared. And then it's going to be a plus x squared y minus 3xy squared plus 3y squared. So that's a plus. So we're going to have 2x squared y. So those are good. Minus 3y squared plus 3y squared. Those cancel. And 5x squared, 5xy squared minus 3xy squared is going to be plus 2xy squared. So that's going to be C. Number six, we have an equation. Question says, but, 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 what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? So that's going to be the rate of change, which is always the number attached to the variable here. So 3a, so it's going to be 3. Our answer is A. Question seven is a big one. So we have an expression here and it says which of the following gives p in terms of the other ones we just have to get everything on the other side so i would divide by all of this so it would be p equals m over all this nonsense i don't want to write all that so I'll just do this and because we're dividing by what is a fraction all we do is flip it so it would be p equals m times and it would be this upside down so it'd be the one plus r Divide by 1200 to the n minus one dot 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 dot. And these ones you don't want to get caught up in all this. You just need to know the general idea that we're going to flip it. So let's see. Equals. We want this part on top. So not that one. Maybe that one. Not that one. Not that one either. So the answer is going to be B here. Number eight. If A over B equals two, what is the value of 4B over A? First thing I notice is the B is on top of the A here. So I'm going to flip this. So B over A is going to be A equals 2. B would be 1. So it's going to be 1 half. And we have 4B over A. So 4B would be 4. A would be 2. So the answer is going to be 2. Question number 9. What is the solution to the system of equations? This one I think we just have to solve. I already see that the Y's, even though they're not the same number, we can multiply this by two, so we can cancel them out. So we'll do that in one step, write it down here. 3x plus 4y equals negative 23. Multiply all this by two, and I'm gonna rearrange it a little bit so the y's line up. So it'll be negative 2x plus 4y equals negative 38. And we're gonna subtract. So we get 5x, those cancel equals negative 23 minus negative 38. So that's going to be plus 15. So x is going to be 3. This is the only one with x is 3. That's our answer.
Number 10, for this function, a is a constant and g of four equals eight. So what is g of negative four? So we need to find what a is. So let's do g of four equals eight. So that means we're gonna plug in four for x and g of x is gonna be eight. So eight equals a times four squared plus 24. A equals 16a plus 24. Subtract 24 from both sides. Let's bring that over here. Let's be negative 16 equals negative 16a or positive 16a. So a equals negative 1. So now this is g of x equals negative x squared plus 24. Plug in negative 4. Negative 4 squared is going to be 16. So negative 16 plus 24. And that's going to be 8. So my answer is positive 8, which is A. This one, which of the following points lies on the line? So it passes through the origin, so 0, 0, and M equals 1, 7. So the equation is going to be Y equals something X plus the intercept. Intercept, they said it goes through the origin, so 0, and the slope is 1, 7. So we can just test these out. 0, if I plug in 0, do I get 7? No. If I plug in 1, do I get 7? No. If I plug in 7, do I get 7? No. If I plug in 14, do I get 2? Yes. Answer is D. If x is greater than 3, which of the following is equivalent to this? So this one, we could probably simplify this, but on these ones, I like to just plug in a number, see what I get, and then see which expression gives me the same one. So I like to use the smallest number possible, so I'm going to use 4. It should be 1 over 1 over 6. It's 1 over 7 have to do like denominators to combine these. So 1 over 7 over 42 plus 6 over 42. 1 over, what is that, 13 over 42. So we just get 42 over 13. So which one gives us that? So it can't be these ones because it wouldn't give us a fraction. So it's one of these. Uh, let's test the top one. So 2x, so if we plugged in 4, be 8 plus 5 is 13. That's flipped, so it's got to be this one, B. Number 14, this is one of the trickier questions. 3x minus y equals 12. What is the value of 8 to the x over 2 to the y? Remember you see something like this? They tell us 3x minus y equals this. We want to make 3x minus y appear somewhere here. So 8 is 2 cubed. So let's turn that to 2 cubed to the x over 2y. Now we have the like bases, we can do something with this. Uh, exponent rule, we have an exponent divided by an exponent, you subtract. So this would be two to the three X minus Y. And we already know that's 12, so our answer is two to the 12th. So I see this expression here, I'm gonna foil that out. And we would get eight B X squared plus seven A X plus two B X plus 14, and we know these are equal. So I know AB to the X squared equals this. So A times B equals 15, and they said A plus B equals eight. We can do a system there, but I'm gonna know that it's five and three. Five times three is 15, five plus three is eight. So those are the ones that work for that. So now once we have that, we know what A is we know what b is, we can plug it in here because this expression is gonna equal c. So seven times five x plus two times three x, we're going to get 35 x plus six x, which is 41 x. So this whole thing here equals 41 x, and that's the same part of the equation as this. So we can know one option is 41 x, so it's gonna be this one here. Number 16, what is the value of t? Uh, we would factor this, this is a difference of squares. So t minus two times t plus two, and it wants the t that's greater than zero, so that's gonna be t equals two. Number 17, we have a similarity problem. So it gives us this information about them. It says a, b is 1800, e, b is 1400, BD is 700, and CD is 800. And it says, what is the value of X? So we know this one 
is equal to this one because they give that to us. These ones are equal because they're vertical angles, so we know these are similar triangles because they have two angles that are equal. And now we're looking for x. So in this case, this is the one that lines up with x. So this one lines up with this one. This one lines up with that one. We can just make a ratio. So it'll be 800 to x is the same as 700 to 1400 because so those are the corresponding sides. I'm going to chop off the zeros because they all have these zeros that will make it easier for me. And we can cross multiply. And I'll bring it down here. We get 7x equals 14 times 8, 32, 3 8 times 1, 112. Divide by 7, 0, 1, 4. So 16, and we took away those two zeros, so it's going to be 1600. So 1600 is our answer there. 18, what is the value of x? So I'm going to solve right for x in this. Get rid of the y by substitution. We'll make this y equals negative 9 minus x. Plug this in for this y here. x plus 2 times negative 9 minus x equals negative 25. x minus 18 minus 2x equals negative 25 add 18 to both sides and combine those at the same time so we get negative x equals da, 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 negative 7 so x equals 7. Tough looking one here because we're dealing with some trigonometry but actually not too difficult if you know what you're doing so in a right triangle <laughs> ugly triangle but it works if sine of x is 4 fifths so sine is opposite over hypotenuse so 4 5. What is cosine of 90 minus x? So 90 minus x is just going to be this one here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be 4 over 5. The answer is 4 fifths. Last question in this section, and we just have to solve this equation. So a equals 5 root 2, and 2a equals root 2x. So let's just set these equal. Scroll down a little bit. 2 times... 5 root 2 equals root 2x. So that's going to be 10 root 2 equals root 2x. Square both sides. It's going to be 100 times 2 equals 2x. 200 equals 2x divided by 2. So x equals 100. 